And I thought I would go ahead and let's do a quick rundown of ingredients to make sure we have everything out that we're gonna need. We have some marshmallows. We'll need some Rice Krispie treats, or if you couldn't find Rice Krispie treats, you could use um, any type of cereal really would work. Um, Fruity Pebbles, Cheerios, Corn Flakes, Frosted Flakes, anything like that is gonna work. And then we're going to need some butter. And the fun part is some sort of chocolate candies or jelly beans or any sort of favorite candy that you like. Okay, so let's see. I think that's everything. The tools we need, again, we need our something around 9 by 13. We need a deep pot. We need a spoon. And we will need a little knife to cut the butter and some non-stick cooking spray. Okay, so if everybody is ready, we're two minutes after, I will go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, we're going to prep our nine by 13 pan so that it's ready when we're ready to use it. So we'll take a little bit of our non-stick cooking spray and we're going to lightly coat it here. We wanna get the sides and the bottom. There we go, oh, missed a spot. <laughs> All right, oh, I gotta breathe that in. <laughs> so now we're gonna set this off to the side. I'm putting it right next to my pot because that's where we'll need it later. The next thing, we're gonna take our butter and for all those kiddos that may not know, all butter has um, measurements on it. You can see one, two, three, four, and even the bigger sticks have it on there. So we need three tablespoons here. So we're gonna cut over one, two, three, and we'll cut it right along that line. If you happen to be using a stick of butter, if not, you can use, um, you know, a, a, um, a, a one tablespoon scoop. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna cut it right down, just like this. And we'll take off the paper and I will throw it into the pot. Set that off to the side and we're gonna turn the pot onto about medium heat right now. About just like that. And now we're gonna move on to the candies. Now I am using my favorite Easter candy which is a mini Cadbury egg. Hey friends! The Cadbury eggs, you know, they're a little bit big for this. So what I'm going to do I have my little Ziploc baggie here and I'm going to take about three quarters of the bag, most of the bag, and pour it right into my little Ziploc baggie here. Maybe a few more in there. And we'll save the rest for the top. Now, if you are using little M&Ms or jelly beans or Reese's Pieces, you can skip this step. Okay, those are gonna be, those are gonna be small enough anyway, right? So, I'm gonna get the air out here. Oh, my butter's already melting. I'm gonna turn mine down just a little bit. Okay, and then to crunch these up to make them smaller, because what I want, I want little bits of chocolate through every single bite of Rice Krispie. So, I'm gonna take a cup, if you have some olive oil, anything that's heavy that you can hold on to, and we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna crunch the candies to kind of break them up a little bit. Take some muscle. Not, <laughs> this is the hardest part of the recipe, right? Is uh, crunching up the candies. How's everybody doing so far? Do we have any questions? Are we going too fast, too slow? You just let me know. Oof. This is a little bit harder than I remember. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep on crunching here. Keep an eye on your butter. We don't want it to burn. All right, now we're getting somewhere. We're getting them broken up. All right, these are worth it though because these candies are so good. I love the outside of the shell. It like melts in your mouth and the chocolate is super smooth. Okay, I think I have one more. Or if you're using a candy bar, you could just use like a little knife and kind of chop it up. All right, here we go. One more. All right. That was a workout. All right, so now we're gonna set our candies off to the side 
And I think I'm gonna move you guys right over here so you can see what's happening at the stove top. There we go, You're right. A little bit crooked, but I think that's okay. All right, hey Amelia. Okay, so we're gonna bring over our marshmallows and we're gonna get our cereal close because this next part is gonna go kind of quickly. Okay, so here all my butter is melted. It's a little too hot for me. I don't need all those bubbles. So we're gonna take our marshmallows and we're gonna dump them right into our pot. Now, if I know some people didn't have quite enough marshmallows, here you can add in some peanut butter, or if you did have enough marshmallows, you could add in peanut butter and make these a peanut butter Rice Krispie treat. Um, you could, if you, another thing you could do if you didn't have marshmallows would be to add um, one cup of water and one cup of sugar, let that melt and then maybe add in some peanut butter. We're just looking for something kind of sticky, a sticky consistency to hold together the cereal. So I'm just gonna keep on stirring these here. You kinda wanna keep an eye on it. Don't walk away from this step because your marshmallows will go from um, not melted to burnt really quickly. So it's kind of a good idea to keep them moving a little bit here. And I like to not get it completely melted. I like a little, some little chunks of marshmallow in there. I think that makes it yummy. Okay, see what I mean? It's going quick, going quick. <laughs> you gotta kind of keep an eye on the, on the, your temperature too. So I've got, that's probably low medium heat there. Okay. So we're gonna let this keep going for one more minute here. What are some of your favorite Easter candies? What are y'all hoping the Easter Bunny brings this year? You know, the Easter Bunny, he might be stuck inside too, right? So he might not be able to get to everybody's house. That's, I just thought of that, you know? I wonder if he has to self-quarantine too. You know, he might. Okay, so here we go. We need maybe a few more seconds in here. Mmm, melted marshmallows smell yummy. All right. There we go. Everybody's doing okay out there? I know some people are watching now and they're going to make it later. Um, here we go. Okay. So I think this is pretty good if you can see it in there. There's still a few chunks, but most of it is melted at this point. So I'm going to turn it all the way off. Just turn the burner completely off. And here's where we're gonna measure our cereal. Now, I did not have a full container of marshmallows, so I'm going to use about four and a half cups of cereal. If you had a full bag, you can use six cups of cereal, okay? So I'm gonna measure in here. And just kind of gauge it. I know ingredients are hard to come by these days, so we're just gonna, we're gonna make do. Luckily, this recipe is, um, it doesn't have to be too exact. All right, there's my, I'm doing about four and a half cups, but like I said, you can do up to six cups with a full bag of marshmallows. So here is a little technique trick. We're gonna stir these together, but we're not gonna stir it hard. We're gonna do what we call folding. So we take our spoon and go underneath and kind of fold it on top of each other. Okay, we're just gonna keep folding. This makes sure that we don't crunch up the cereal. This technique we use a lot in baking so um, so that everything stays like light and fluffy. If you just kind of like go to town, it'll like, it'll deflate and you'll crunch up your cereal. Okay, so mine's looking pretty good here. I might actually need a little bit more cereal. These are looking very marshmallowy. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna stir a little bit more. Here we go. Or actually fold, I should say. Slow, am I going too fast? Here we go. Oh, maybe some maybe some marshmallows taking longer to melt. I understand. Very good. Hey, hi there. <laughs> okay, so once we have it. I don't know if you can kind of see my consistency here. It's kind of, it's holding together, but it's still kind of falling apart a little bit. That's just what we want. So now for the fun part, our candies. 
We're gonna bring our candies over here. Your jelly beans, M&Ms, your chopped up candy bars, whatever you have, and we're gonna dump them right in there. All right. And then we're just going to keep doing that folding motion until we feel like everything is really well combined. Okay. Ooh yeah, that chocolate's getting just a little bit melty. It's gonna be awesome. Last week we did a healthy treat. So this week I thought, you know what, we're just going all out. It's Easter weekend. We're gonna have a good time with this one. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay, so I've got all my candies kind of mixed in there. And so now we're gonna come over here to that pre uh oh Oh, there we are. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to spoon it right into our baking pan here. Now you don't have to have a nine by 13 if you had something round. Uh-oh, keep losing the connection there. Everybody still with me? Oh, there goes, <laughs> there goes my husband walking by. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in here. Just like that. Set this over to the side. Bring this in a little bit closer here. And I'm gonna take my spoon and just, hey Darla, hi. And we're going to push it into the pan. Here we go. You just kinda of wanna get it kind of flat, just like that. And then the candies that we did not crunch up or that you still have left over, we're gonna sprinkle some on top for extra chocolate. Just put them all on there <laughs> and then I'm going to press them in so that they stick a little bit whenever we cut this into squares there we go okay everybody's still doing okay hey Val <laughs> so we're just gonna keep pressing them in here now if you are tuning in late I just want to let you know I'll save this well, it'll save for 24 hours and then I'll post it to my website where you can follow along all the steps if you had to join in late. So, once we have this kind of pressed in there, I like to get it nice and firm. Okay, all right. So now you, theoretically, you'd wanna let this cool for a little bit, but I'm gonna cut into it right now. You could cut shapes, you could use a cookie cutter, and you could make um, like Easter egg shapes or bunny shapes if you have cookie cutters. I don't have cookie cutters, so I'm just gonna use a plastic knife here so I don't scratch up my pan. And I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and cut this while it's still gooey so you can see it. Got a plate here. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh, he's gonna fall apart. But I think it's gonna be worth it. You're still doing the marshmallows. That's okay, take your time, take your time. There's no rush. This is still too soft for me to do this, but anyhow, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna make this work. There we go. Okay, because we gotta do, we can't have a cooking show without the bite, right? So stretchy. Mmm. There's something about marshmallow and cereal. It's sugar, right? It's so good. Mm. Maybe I should, maybe I'll leave the Easter Bunny a treat this year. You know, like we do Santa. I think the Easter Bunny is getting a treat this year. <laughs> so, this one is super simple. You can pop this into the refrigerator for a little bit so that it gets set up and um, a little bit harder to keep these. You wanna make sure that you put them in an airtight container and pop them in the fridge. Before you eat them, kinda of let them come to room temperature, otherwise they can get a little bit hard. But anyway, I hope everyone is having a great weekend. It's a beautiful day in Knoxville. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are and that you are enjoying it. And that's all we got for today. This was a super short one. Again, if, you've, if you decide to make this, please send me a picture. I love seeing your creations and the different variations that everybody comes up with. It literally makes my day and I'll be sure to share it on my stories. So I hope everyone is having a great day 